One of the best ways to stay healthy this cold and flu season is by enhancing our own immune systems. And you can do that by incorporating turmeric into your diet on a regular basis. It has a lot of uh, anti-inflammatory properties that I think you might want to check out. Now today we're making a chocolate golden milk recipe for you and we're using chocolate today. I have a couple other recipes where I don't use chocolate and I'll leave links for those but I wanted to change it up today just because a lot of people like chocolate and some people don't like the flavor of turmeric so this kind of hides it and you get a lot of benefits from the chocolate that we're going to use be using as well because it has a lot of polyphenols and lots of minerals and, and vitamins. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. So this turmeric tea recipe is so easy for you. It's only gonna take us like five, six minutes tops and then you'll be drinking this delicious tea. But before we get started, I wanna tell you my chef joke. So I've got two, two chef jokes for you today. One I'm gonna tell you now and one a little bit later. Okay, here we go. What do you call a healthy dinosaur? T-Rex. So let's go over our ingredients. First up, I'm using coconut milk, full fat. Now you can use any milk that you want. You can use almond milk, soy milk, oat milk, uh, you know, like any of them. The reason I like to use the coconut milk is because it has a fair amount of fat in it. And that leads us to the turmeric. So in order to increase the bioavailability of the curcumin in the turmeric, you need to add some fat to it and you need to add some pepper. Those two things are going to increase the absorbability of the curcumin in the body by about 2000%, okay? The, the pepper really does that. Uh, if you're gonna use a different milk that doesn't have a lot of fat in it, then you're gonna have to add a little bit of fat. You could use something like coconut oil, maybe a couple of teaspoons, that would work. Or maybe a little bit of butter if you wanna do that, okay? So we'll add our coconut milk to a saucepan. So of course we're gonna add some turmeric to this and you can start off by using maybe just a half a teaspoon if you're not really fond of the flavor and you can work your way up to say a teaspoon after a while. Uh, next up we have our chocolate here. This is cacao powder and it has lots of iron and magnesium and just it's full of polyphenols which are really good for us. So, and this one has no sugar in it, additional sugar. So that's, that's good. And then we are going to have to sweeten this up so that it tastes really nice. And we're going to add a little maple syrup. Now you could add other sweeteners if you choose. You could add honey, but I would suggest waiting till your tea cools just a bit before adding it so that you don't, you know, destroy the nutritional benefits of the honey. Uh, you could use monk fruit sweetener. That would work as well too. And you know, pretty much, you know, you can use regular sugar too if you want. All right, I've got some Ceylon cinnamon here, which has sort of a nice little sweet hint of flavor to it. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract and of course our pepper, which is really important and you don't have to add a lot to that. Just a pinch or maybe, you know, an eighth of a teaspoon or maybe even a little bit less. It just takes a little bit to really increase the bioavailability of that curcumin. And then to finish this off, I just have some uh, chocolate here that is 70% cacao and it has some sugar in it, but it's a nice, I'm gonna grate it over the top and it just finishes it off and it's just delicious. So let's take this over to the stove and start heating it up. So I'm gonna just heat this up. I've got it on medium high heat. I'm gonna keep a eye, close eye on it. And this will take about two minutes until all the spices and everything dissolves. Here's that last chef joke you've been waiting for. Okay, when shouldn't you drink a hot beverage? When it's not your cup of tea. <laughs> Here's our chocolate turmeric tea. Notice how rich and creamy this is. So let's go in with a little bit of grated chocolate over the top. It must be time for a taste. It's like dessert. It is so good. It's chocolatey. I can still taste the turmeric, but it's mellowed out because of the chocolate. It is delicious. So if you want to try another variation of turmeric tea, I've got the recipe for you to try. It's my turmeric tea with cinnamon. I'm gonna leave a link for you right over here. Click that and check it out. It's made, it's, it's made with water, essentially. There's no milk in that one, so it is much lighter in, in texture and you know flavor. And uh, you can drink it hot or cold. And it is very refreshing. It's got some lemon in it, and I think you're gonna love it. It's very popular, so check it out. Thank you so much for watching today. I do appreciate you all. And uh, don't forget to leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. And give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. All right, we'll see you next week.